What's going on guys, Jimmy Francois here, welcome back to another YouTube video, welcome back to the channel and god damn yes we are dropping a whole bunch of game on this YouTube channel and I'm actually enjoying it to be fair, I'm enjoying getting back in front of the camera, I'm spitting some bars, letting out my thoughts because I think it's really good um, to give you guys free value, it's really good just to get shit off my mind really, so I actually enjoy this really well. Um, but this is basically all about how to onboard models, how to onboard creators, I get a bunch of messages about how, um, asking about how we onboard our models, process behind it, so I'm going to give you guys a good overview of exactly how how we onboard our models at Own the Astro Academy and how you can onboard the models um, at your agency because this is a really important uh, first step in the partnership, right? If your onboarding process is rubbish, is shit, it is really going to leave something in the mind of your of your clients or your customers and that is like buyer's remorse or like partnership remorse. If you're not sure what that means, that basically means when someone first joins a partnership and they get the ick of certain things, things are just taking really long, things just aren't working, it just doesn't come across professional, right? That is what they're going to have in their mind at the very start of of your partnership and that's not a great start to have right you want to have the start on a very positive start you want to have a very positive start to the partnership to the relationship because this space is is hard enough as it is right so the onboarding process having a really clear cut onboarding process with your sops in place so you can do this for future and i'm going to give this to you guys completely free on this video so without further ado hit the like button hit the subscribe button and let's get into the video so five step process that we use at the agency to onboard our models okay so first step is to have the first initial kind of sales call or like a call itself to kind of go over the phone to basically get on the phone with the models and just to basically understand the partnership relay expectations and answer any questions that they may have if you follow my other videos you'll know that we do a certain amount of outreach per day to get models onto the phone once on the phone itself or on a zoom call you basically want to relay expectations relate the partnership go through your results go through how you generate results have that general connection with the model itself because that's going to make your life a lot easier later on down the line okay next is about how to send the contract and how to get the contract signed we use a online software called hello sign right now or dropbox sign up i believe it is now and we use like a validified contract that's it good for the UK, that's good for all around the world. Um, and we use that contract, we send it to the model itself directly via the ECB chart. So you don't have to do the whole meeting in person, get the contract signed, and then re-uploading it to your emails or anything like that. It's all basically done by e-signature software and that allows yourself to have a receipt of the, of the contract and allows your model to have a receipt of the contract and make it clear, transparent and legal um, for both you guys as a, as a partnership, okay? The next is the optional onboarding call. I say optional because we don't always have an onboarding call. My onboarding video process itself is enough, but I know some agencies out there like to have onboarding calls, so it's really dependent on you guys, right? The onboarding call will just be heavily going over expectations, how to set the partnership for the best possible results, um, but we don't always have that. The onboarding video that you're gonna see in the next step is absolutely fine for us and our creators, and I've always had really, really great feedback about it, right? So that leads me on to my next point, the onboarding uh, video itself, right? I basically would film like a Loom video, and on the Loom video, I'll go through like expectations, the partnership, our results, the team itself, so everyone knows who they're working with, etc., etc. It's very open and transparent. And I'll go over like the plan for the next three months. So before they even start, the model itself knows the plan for the next three months. They know exactly what they need to do, what they need to execute on, and they know what's going to happen from the partnership, right? So there's no doubt. Like as soon as the model engages with it, with a partnership with us they know exactly what's going to happen in the next three months okay so the next three months is laid out with like timelines of results the content that's required from them like what we need from them as content and um everything is just basically in black and white right and they can go back and watch the video as much as they like right but that really allows your allows you to set the expectations for to the models from day one so you know how to get dealt with all these naggy messages or naggy calls or naggy voice notes about results not coming in in the first week because anyone that understands this place understands this business knows that it's just not going to happen like that right so we kind of hit those expectations before it even gets going right so that's a really big key point for you guys make sure you hit expectations for the models before they even join your agency so you're not left with like constant continuously trying to prove yourself to the model right and um, next is about as part of that video towards the end it's going to take the model to a questionnaire form on the questionnaire form itself it gives us information about them their content the account itself, the current account's performance, um, and the account access, right? We obviously get access to all of our models' accounts, including socials. That's how we run a lot of these bots. It's how we run a lot of these systems and like strategies for our models. 
Um, so there is a high level of trust there. The high level of trust comes from a very, very, very good onboarding process and how you conduct yourselves. But yeah, on the questionnaire form itself, we get access to the OF account itself, to the socials and um, to like the content folders that we need to sell the content on behalf. Um, and number five, the last step is to get to work, get to scaling, right? get to work get it scaling on the accounts, get into the messages, start building traffic sources, um, and then we basically would start the kind of process from there, right? Step five also would include like create like a group chat between yourself, the model, and your team members. Um, that way everyone is streamlined with communication. We just use WhatsApp right now, to be honest with you. It's the easiest, it's what everyone uses nowadays, so we use WhatsApp with our model and team communication, and that works like really well, to be honest with you. So use WhatsApp, if not use like Telegram, but WhatsApp's absolutely fine for us, and um, that's been working really well. Super short, juicy, value-based video on the channel for you guys today. Five steps you need to basically onboard your creators. First, have a sales call or the initial call to go over expectations and the partnership. Two, send across a contract or service agreement via online e-signature software like HelloSign or like DropSign, I believe it is. You can use DocuSign or PandySign as well. They're all, all very good, all very similar. And a lot of them come with like two weeks free trial, so you don't need to pay for it. Next is to have like the optional onboarding call. You don't have to do it. And um, we have, we have, and it's just dependent on you guys. And the fourth is to then send like a onboarding video or onboarding process to get access to everything that you need and then attach the question form to that as well. You can use Typeform or Google Forms will help you save expenses. Google Forms is absolutely fine. And then next is to get the group chat created and then just get to work and to scaling. So hope it all makes sense guys. Peace out and I'll see you in the next one.